for you. I wanted to put out there and share and spread some love and be a boredom buster during these crazy times. So we are going to draw a flamingo together, just sketch one out, and then we're gonna watercolor one. Okay, so um, get your paper and your pencil and pause this if you're not ready, and then we're gonna do it, let's go. Okay, so I'm gonna do it on this whiteboard because I think it'll be easier for you to see than me drawing with pencil. So super easy, guys. The head is kind of like a parentheses. See that? So simple. Now what makes a flamingo look like a flamingo is their crazy neck. So you notice that here the neck goes in front of the head or here it's kind of even with the head. So you want it to be at least even with the head or in front of it, okay? So this is the bottom piece. I'm gonna smooth out that line a little bit. I'm gonna make this one really exaggerated. And you notice I kind of went, I ended it with kind of a down because that's gonna be the body, the bottom. Then this one, I'm gonna kind of follow the line about the same and I want a nice, that nice dip right there, right? Because that kind of shows that he's got, um, got that funky neck going on. So then this is kind of like a leaf, see that? Just kind of like a leaf, easy peasy, right? And then we're gonna come up here. We're gonna give them a beak and an eye. And there's a couple different ways that you can do the legs. You can do just the classic, you know, teepee, just, just a little teepee leg thing going on there. Or if you wanna step it up a little bit, <coughs> excuse me, it's the spring, so I'm coughing. Um, you can do, I always call it like the turkey leg. It's kind of got that meaty thigh thing going on right there. And a flamingo, their legs, their knees bend the opposite of ours. So if I drew like my knee, it would bend with my knee goes forward. But with them, their knee actually goes backwards. So really counterintuitive for us. And then a foot and easy peasy. And now you can add a wing in if you want to. So you can just put a line here to be the suggestion of a wing, which is totally fine. Or if you wanted to be a little fancier with it, like, whoops, sorry, I hit my camera. Um, you could have the wing coming up, right? If you wanted to be more like, look at me, I just completely like stalled on how to draw a wing. <laughs> there, that's, that's just the idea, right? I'm not a really hip, um, whiteboard drawer yet so but you get the idea so you can go up you can go down if you wanted to have like both their wings up you could bring another one back here he's running after you i don't know kind of fun so but there's your easy peasy i tend to as in case you hadn't guessed by that little demo right there <laughs> i tend to do my wings here simple easy peasy okay so that's drawing a flamingo, just an easy way. And then you can switch it up however you want. Um, in my class with the kids, we think it's really fun because you can put top hats on them. And if this was a really thin pen, I could give them a monocle. You know, if it's cold, you can give them a scarf because, you know, why not? That's like a big Blue Moxie art motto is why not? So dress them up, have fun with them. Totally fun. Okay. so. Let me get rid of him. And now we're going to watercolor a flamingo. Don't be scared. I am not a watercolor artist by any means. I'm a mixed media artist. So that means I don't watercolor with the watercolor rules. <laughs> I just have fun with it. Um, so you can do a more serious one. Like this guy is a little bit more serious. I don't know why. I just feel like he's kind of serious and kind of snooty. And, I mean, he's got attitude, right? just attitude and then this one is more like what I'm going to do today just a little softer and I'm going to do two for you so I can show you a couple different thing ways to finish them off so I'm just using <coughs> I'm just using this Angora water set use whatever you have um, this is just a nice set because it's got such a great variety of colors in it 
but really truly use what you want. Honestly, I'm gonna do one in these flamingo colors and then I'm gonna do one in blues and purples because I want to. So you wanna have watercolors. Uh, you can do acrylics. If you just have acrylics, you'll just, um, there's two things you can do. You can just paint it with your acrylics or if you want it to be a little soft and watery, you can water down your acrylics, not a problem. I've watercolored with acrylics before just by watering them down. I'm using round brushes, a six and a three is what I have out here today, just because um, I like the size of them. When I watercolor, I really like round brushes, which is funny because I don't hardly ever use a round brush when I acrylic paint, but for watercolor, they're how I like to roll. And you wanna have water and um, a towel, a paper towel or a towel would be great. And some watercolor paper. So let's get started. Be brave, you can do this, it'll be totally fun. So I'm gonna use the six. I'm not even sure if I'm gonna use the three at all, but I'm gonna use the six and I'm gonna, um, let's get you in here. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm just gonna do what we just did. So I picked my, I'm gonna work with these these colors right here. So my dark, my medium, my light, and I might throw some yellow in there and probably some purple. So I'm starting with that dark coral and I'm just gonna, I have my brush nice and juicy, right? And I'm just gonna draw it like we did before. So kind of a pair of parentheses, right? Like we said, and then smooth that out. Come down with the neck. And same thing up here, just kind of smooth that line. You want a nice transition from the neck. Now, like it got really wide right there. It's totally fine, don't worry about it. We're gonna go in and fill it in, so no stress. My watercoloring is no stress because I, um, like I said, I just wanna have fun. I just wanna have fun. So I'm gonna bring this down and I'm gonna put my dip in there because I really want him to have a good dip. And with the same color, I'm gonna come up. He wants a really big, I'm gonna exaggerate this one. So, and the reason I'm doing them a little bit different, like exaggerating this and doing one different is because I want you to realize there's just not one way, right? Just have fun with it. It's whatever you wanna do, it's totally fine. So I'm gonna put that turkey thigh in there. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my lighter color and I'm gonna keep it really wet and really loose. And I'm not even necessarily going to fill in. Like if you notice, I'm not um, completely, completely filling everything in. I'm just kind of, you know, throw some watercolor on there. Just throw it on, it'll be fine. So I'm gonna come in here. Now, if you get a spot, like I don't like this hard line right here, that, that's bothersome to me. So I can just take some water just plain water and I can come in and I can soften that. See, I can soften up those, those hard, those hard lines. So just kind of, some of them I'm okay with, but if they bother me too much, and like I just went outside of my own line right there, you guys, it's fine. It's totally fine, don't even worry about it. So now I think with this one, I'm gonna put in some yellow and just, just to make it more interesting, right? Because nothing is just one color. If we go out and we look at things organically, nothing is just one color. So throwing yellow in here on my flamingo, totally groovy, totally works. And while I'm there, I'm gonna take the yellow and I'm gonna bring in his beak. And I want his beak to make sense with my, um, with my head right? I want it to fit. Lots of times people just stick this tiny little beak on there and it looks kind of silly. So I want it to fit. And while that's wet, I'm going to go take just a dab, just a dab of black, and I'm going to stick it at the base of the beak and check it out. I can push it up. Just I'm just dabbing it and I can push it up and make it, um, make him have that cool dark. There we go. I just put a little bit. I put too much water and not enough but not enough, but it's cool. So with watercolors, if they're too light, you want less water. If they're too dark, you want more. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm taking water and I'm just picking that up because I want my watercolor, my black darker, and then I'm gonna do it again. There we go, that's what I wanted. So I'm just gonna tip that in there. So you notice I'm not 
painting, I'm just dotting. I'm just kind of dotting it down there in the end to get it to kind of go up and make it look cool. I'm gonna have it go up the side a little bit more. Um, the thing about watercolor is watercolors go where the water is and they blend and we love that about them. But like if I was to come right now in this eye and put an eye right there, I would just have a, whoosh, a mess, right? So I'm gonna leave that for right now. And now I'm just gonna kind of play with it. So I'm gonna come back in here where my wing would be and I wanna darken up. Lots of times they have black on their tails and their wings, but I'm not gonna do that today. I don't want to do that. I just wanna kind of keep it. Um, and I'm gonna throw the lighter color back in there again. I've, apparently I have decided to darken up this flamingo a lot because I'm talking and I'm not the best at um, talking and working, but it's still fun. And I'm just kind of wherever I wanna put some color on it. Oh, it's really pretty, huh? And I want just a little bit of purple in there. So let me see. I want a little bit just down in here. Okay, maybe a little bit more than that. I just want a little bit, just the idea of some purple in there, maybe at the top of the wing like that. And down over here, I want a little bit of purple in his face, just because it's getting kind of monotone over there. Okay, cool. And I'm actually good with that. I like that because I say that when I go, wait, I want to add, I'm going to bring a little bit more yellow up here. So the thing is just play. It's all just play, you guys. It'll all be fine. And then for the legs, I'm going to switch to that three that I told you I had. And I'm going to do them. I don't want them to be too super, super different. So I'm going to go ahead and just use that first dark color. And I'm going to give them a long leg. I think the best way to do these legs is don't hesitate. Just, just do it. It'll be fine. It'll be fine, right? And boom. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that one to dry. Isn't that pretty? I'm gonna leave that one to dry, and then I'm gonna show you a couple of different ways to finish it. So I'm gonna do one more with you really quick, okay? And this one, we are not doing flamingo colors because we don't have to do flamingo colors. We can do our flamingos wherever we want. So I'm going to pick this blue that I just love. See this blue right here, how pretty. I'm going to pick this blue that I just love. And I'm going to do the same thing. Let me make sure I'm in the frame. So I've got some parentheses going on. Whoops, that got to be a fancy parenthesis. It'll be fine. Don't even worry about it. So the neck and see here's the deal right there to me why the neck is so important is that could be a swan right couldn't that totally be a swan so I have to bring in that big dip to make it be my my um flamingo so I want that dip and that exaggerated there we go Okay, so this one's gonna be blue. And the nice thing is is we can do it, like if I wanted to make this line a little bigger, you know, you can smooth things out and change them with your watercolors. So I'm gonna switch to my, nope, that was my bigger brush. Okay, so let's, what do we wanna add in here? I wanna, I really love this color. So I'm actually gonna put in quite a bit of this blue, because I think this blue is so pretty. And then I'm gonna soften that line right there that I originally made. And a little bit down here. And those guys, I'm not even thinking about it. Don't even think about it, just throw some color on it. It'll be fine, I promise. So then some purple. I want some purple on this guy. So let's come, kinda, I'm just gonna bring it in, just not even, just wherever. That's what I like about watercolors is uh, you don't have to think about it. Just have fun and experiment and play and have a good time. So let me see. And I think I want to take and put some purple in that tail there. See that? Darken it up. And I'm going to put some purple. I'm going to do that wing line with some purple right there. It's subtle, but I'm digging it. And I forgot the chicken leg. 
And I also did mine kind of low, so I'm not going to be able to put um, total legs on it all the way, but you know what? That is going to be fine. You'll still know it's a flamingo. And let me see. What color beak should we do? You know what? Let's just do it. Let's just do the purple beak. So I'm going to bring that in. There we go. There you are. And I don't know if the black will work because it's um really wet and dark, but let's try it. Oh, a little bit, a little bit. Makes it a little interesting. And remember I told you you could smooth out lines. So I want to come in really carefully and smooth out this line right here. Just, oops, made a big line, made another line. So I'm throwing some more of that dark blue on top. And then I'm going to take with this one. So I totally, see how it totally bled up in here? I would normally be okay with that because when we do our pen work, we'll do, we'll, we'll bring it back. But if that bothers you, take just water, just plain water on your brush and you can soak up. Like if I'm like, ooh, I'm not digging where that purple is going over there so far. Like I can kind of soak up the extra water color. And voila, there is no longer purple going up there like that. And for the legs, I'm just going to give the idea of legs going down. I'm not going to worry about it too much on this one because I cut off his little legs anyway. So totally fine. Uh, let's see. Does this one want anything else? Yeah. Now that's a little bit drier, I'm going to come in and bring that line in again. And... I'm gonna just put water on my brush and I'm gonna hit it. And it's gonna make some cool, we're gonna make them kind of modeled just for fun. So see what that does, just the water on there, how it makes it kind of cool. And I'm gonna put that one to dry. And I'm gonna dry my stuff and then come back and show you a couple different ways to finish them. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. So I dried my stuff. I used a um, embossing gun, which um, you have to be really careful because they're really hot. You can also you dry use a hair dryer if you want to dry your stuff quicker. Um, in mixed media art, it's all about layers, so we're always drying something. But um, with watercolor, you can just wait too. Just wait and let it dry. But honestly, I just don't have the patience for that. I just want to move on. So um, I'm just gonna finish these up really quick, and we will be all done. So I like to use this Pentel um, RSVP pen. It's not that they're anything special. It's just I've discovered that they work really good. They go over things that we ask them to. So I wanted you to see like, so like my lines right here are not so smooth. It'll be totally fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to like kind of loosely outline my guy, right? So I'm just using short, sketchy strokes. Um, and not worrying about it too much. And that's the key, guys. Don't worry about it. Just go for it. Now, this line down here, we want his chicken leg, turkey leg, underneath. So that goes underneath. And see how fast? And like right there, I went outside. It doesn't matter, guys. It's watercolor, and it's just fun. And it doesn't have to be um, perfect because nothing really is. I always tell people if you want to be perfect, just buy something a machine made. If I wanted to, I could also just like add that line in there to his lines. And that it could be that simple, like that simple. Isn't that cute? Look at that, how cute is that? Do, 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 do. And then this one, oh, I wanted to show you. So now that this is dry, I could come back if I wanted to and give him a watercolor eye, right? So kind of the difference between a pen eye and a watercolor eye. And I'm gonna do the same thing where I'm just gonna kind of loosely go around them. And you notice how fast I'm going? I'm not worrying about being on the line, guys. Don't, don't make your life so stressful like that. It will be fine. Just kind of bring them out, give them his wing back, and see where it was just a line of purple. Now it looks pretty cool. And then on this one, because it's dry now, if I wanted to, which I do, I'm going to come back in and darken up in here a little bit. Oh, cute. Look at you how cute you are. 
and come down in here and bada bing bada boom i've got flamingos and they're super cute and i love them so um i hope that you enjoyed this quick little flamingo tutorial you guys can find me on facebook and instagram i am at blue moxie art you can also find me at bluemoxieart.com. I would love, go to my Facebook page, post your flamingos that you did. I want to see them guys, because you know what? I'm home bored too. So show me what you made, okay? And if you have any questions, hit me up at those places. And thanks for hanging out with me for a little bit. I hope you had fun. Just have fun, relax, you can do this.